Hello, and a uh, couple things. One, this was asked for by someone in particular. I realized that I really should have done it earlier, and I apologize. Two, part six is going to be re-uploaded after this. I already made it and uploaded it. There was a problem. Don't know what it was, but it was rejected, so I'm going to re-upload it. So my game is going to look a little different than yours because I am on step six. Everyone else is on step five. This is 5.5, which puts in a new, more advanced system for moving, I mean selecting. Uh, you don't need any new sprites, all you need is a little bit of code editing. Um, on ship underscore worker, change global left release, just hit the change button and switch it to mouse, global mouse, global left released. Uh, it was global left pressed, change it to global left released. Um, Okay. Next, we're going to need a new object, which I named drag underscore control. This will need three new events, uh, and it kind of makes a little difference. Oh, and we need to change the ship worker a little bit more, but first we need this, which is a little more important. Uh, we put in a piece of code, global.firstx equals mouse underscore x, global.firsty equals mouse underscore y. So we're declaring two variables on where we uh, click. When we click, it creates two variables, a point on the game where we have it, and it's where the mouse is currently, and then we have drag equals one. Now in global left released, all we do is we say drag equals zero, so we're no longer doing a drag event. And finally in draw, we have if drag is equal to one. So if we are dragging our mouse while holding the mouse, then we're going to uh, actually do this. Um, the draw event, uh, put it in blocks, and then draw a rectangle. Um, x1 is global.firstx, y1 is global.firsty. Those are our first set of coordinates, so we're going to draw a rectangle with the first set of coordinates being where we click down, and then our second set of coordinates, mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y. Do not have it filled, set it to outline and that way uh, we can make a rectangle and it will update live every draw step every step it'll go to uh, wherever your mouse is now if you go into draw another thing you can do is uh... let's see there's a set color somewhere All right set color you can put that before the draw rectangle you can set it to something i'm thinking green because that's the color of my cursor Okay. Uh, make sure it's visible but don't have a sprite and then ship underscore worker what we're gonna have is global left released we're gonna add a whole nother block of code uh, which is a little mm, annoying to say the least uh, we're, it reads like this if self dot x is greater than global dot first x and self dot x is less than mouse underscore x which means it's in between the part where you clicked and the part where your mouse currently is or where you released because this is in the release function uh, release event and then within that set of brackets we have the same exact thing but with y if self dot y is greater than global dot first y and self dot y is less than mouse underscore y then selected equals one so now we're selected uh, Let's see. Um, there is a bug in here. Uh, we're going to fix it later when we make a GUI. There's going to be a special button that activates this feature of being able to drag. Uh, normally you won't be able to do it, which is important because they'll say when the drag feature is enabled, it won't move when you release a cursor, but for now it will, so it's a little annoying, it's a little glitchy, but you get the point. Make sure before you start it in your rooms, you put in the drag control object and just put it wherever because the player doesn't see it the player uses it but doesn't need to see it um, so let's go ahead and start as you can see my game is a little bit different at this point okay so we have our object I'm gonna go ahead and move it over here and I'm gonna be no move over here uh, creating another one and we're gonna move it over here 
and we have both of them and now I can create and it's a green rectangle and they both get selected but you can see that first selected one started moving now I can deselect them and I can select one of them uh, I can deselect that one I can select a one over here I don't have any more resources No, this sucks. Yay, more glitches. But you get the picture. You create a rectangle, and anything in the rectangle you get selected and can move. That is so utterly annoying. Alright, so I'm going to remake video 6 to include a solution to this, because that is a major flaw in the game. I'm going to fix that and I'm going to remake video 6 so it might not be up as soon as I thought it would be because I am going to fix that right there. I do not like that at all. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, please comment. Someone asked for this, here it is. I uh, hope it helped and uh, later I'll be doing another video which will include a GUI on how you can select whether you want to do this or not. It won't be available at all times, that way you don't accidentally move them everywhere. Because you can see they're trying to move right now as I'm drawing boxes. But that's the general idea of it, and if you want to fix that by yourself, go right ahead. It's pretty simple. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, and please comment.